Thank you, Nintendo, for making my life easier. Have a great time! Thank you for making a game I actually want to play. Thank you for letting me make a review that is in over 20 minutes of me bitching until I have a fucking aneurysm. Um, I'm upset with myself. Thank you, Nintendo, for being Nintendo. <laughs> it's game candy time, bitches. This is the first 2D Mario in 10 years that wasn't Mario Maker 1 or 2. And I can see why. Mario Maker put them in an odd position. With those level editors out, especially two which filled in the missing item object gaps of the first, what would Nintendo put out that users weren't already creating themselves? You could almost say Nintendo shot themselves in the foot making such great level editors it meant the fanbase didn't need them anymore. And that clearly led to a design doc for Wonder that asked one all-important question. What can't you do in Mario Maker? And the answer was acid. Every level in Super Mario Wonder is a giant pile of you can't do this in Mario Maker slash acid. That's right, now in his 40s, our boy has moved from psilocybin to straight up acid. Although even then, he still hasn't dropped the mushrooms. Because Mario rolls hard. Why not take both? This time around, he's got different unlockable hats, reminiscent to hat abilities in Super Mario Odyssey. Although that was different in that you found hat victims in specific locations rather than plan ahead to play the whole level with one hat. So they're not the same, but close enough that you'll think of Odyssey now and then. You're a great one. There's even hat challenge levels built around using one specific hat's ability, encouraging different playstyles and strategies so things never get stale. Although you'll still probably use the floaty hat most of the time anyway. <laughs> There's a bunch of new power-ups. <laughs> Including that one. No one fucks with Elephant Mario. They allow for new platforming and puzzle solving. It's all great. It's all Mario game candy. Nintendo doesn't know how to fuck this up. I was pleasantly surprised when Nintendo chose a less stupid name than New. Sure, when the original DS New Mario came out, it made more sense because it was the first 2D Mario since 91. But even then, it wasn't a great name. And ever since, it's been a straight-up terrible name. And they didn't stop for like 10 years! Even Super Mario 3D World was a terrible name, used only for parody with the 3DS's 3D Land, which used that name because it was indeed stereoscopic. God damn it, Nintendo. These are great games, but terrible fucking names. It's like they make gold statues carved by Michelangelo himself and name them Blot Smythe of Anal Leakage. I guess after 10 years, Nintendo finally replaced their marketing department with a team that doesn't slur their words when Stone Cold Tober. Ah, oh, what the hell is that? <laughs> My ass. It's not the hardest 2D Mario game, but true to form, getting all the collectibles like big purple shit and extra seeds are more of a challenge. <laughs> and some of those Star Road levels don't fuck around. Especially this one. That's a spicy mint ball. The purple shit also acts as currency, unlocking extra seeds and hats, along with some less important stuff that's more or less there for completionists. Much like other recent 2D Nintendo games, there are about as many ideas as there are levels. And practically each level introduces new ideas that most any other developer would have stretched for a whole game. Whereas Nintendo just drops the mic at each flagpole and moves on to the next idea right away. Pretty much embarrassing everyone else. Um, I'm upset with myself. Even the overworld is actively fun, with more secrets and exploration than any prior Mario game. There's just no part of this that isn't fun. Even the small details are fun, like the way Mario holds shells with his feet when using a floaty hat. Or the way seemingly out of place flowers keep asking you if you need more drugs. Where's the party? Come with me! No matter how high! But if you mess with things like that, you never know what will happen. I warn you! If there's anything that's even the littlest bit weak, it would be the final boss. Which I'm not gonna show you, cause it's the final boss and I don't wanna be a spoiler douche. But even then, it's not bad, just kind of weak compared to everything else. If I had to say anything actually negative, and I'm straining to find anything that could count as straight up negative, then here it is. D this right here. In recent Mario games, walking to the level in the overworld showed you all the collectibles for that level, immediately telling you which ones you have or have not gotten yet. 
Now they only show you Wonder Seeds, and the remaining collectibles have to be viewed in a menu that takes a few seconds to access and find. It's a minor inconvenience that doesn't affect any actual gameplay. Kinda odd though, and slightly annoying. Maybe Nintendo could patch that shit, oh well. Thus endeth the negative commentary. The most stunning and eye-opening part of this whole experience, this whole pile of candy, is I played it directly following a pile of Bethesda. And the night and day difference was kinda staggering. Where Starfield was a giant pile of fat with no fun on it, Wonder is a giant pile of fun with no fat on it. Where Starfield felt like pulling teeth, Mario feels... Yeah. And you know what else Mario is? 60 motherfucking FPS! 12 goddamn teraflops, Microsoft. 12 fucking teraflops, and you couldn't even lock a consistent 30. Meanwhile, Nintendo locked 60 on the Switch for the billionth time. You should be fucking ashamed of yourselves. I'm upset with myself. Ultimately, this is pure game candy. Acid-laced game candy. And it tastes... Elizabeth Taylor Award. Cause when you're the best, you can do all the drugs and still dominate the competition so hard it's as though they're not even there. And we decided just to face it head on and make a big noise out of it and have fun. And we just entered our 40s with a blast. I think it's wonderful. Uh, I, I kind of make it, revisit our process. I go bold. Um, and just to... Oh, he was foaming at the mouth and carrying on like a lunatic. Um, and so... You and your studio can both go to hell. Um, I'm upset with myself. 